the king hunt of 2019 this is the game you are about to see daniel dubov against rasmus van at the european team championships king g7 has just been played by black and knight d5 is what dubov chooses a typical motif the queen and the knight are being attacked and by deflecting the f6 knight white has the chance to come into h7 this is exactly what happened in the game knight takes d5 rook h7 check king g8 and now rook takes f7 dubov continues to crash through now here what if we try this brilliant try why doesn't this work what a flashy way to finish the game except white is running out of pieces after f takes g6 bishop takes d5 check bishop e6 and that is enough because after bishop takes e6 queen takes e6 and this is the problem you're protecting your rook but you have to get your queen back after knight takes e6 take 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 and you are a piece down back to the game after rook takes f7 black plays rook takes and queen takes g6 check king f8 queen a6 check and now rook g7 is forced why not king g8 because bishop takes d5 and the rook is pinned to the king bishop f5 check doesn't help king a2 bishop takes f7 check will be crushing for white after queen h6 check black is forced to play rook g7 and now bishop takes d5 king e8 was played by black but there's a really cool idea first beginning with bishop f5 check doesn't look like it does too much because white can just go king a2 or e4 but this is a really cool line very very difficult to play because black now goes king e8 you might be wondering why on earth would anyone ever do this to put this king on the same file as the rook but the point is the queen is attacking the rook on e1 this is not possible the rook is hanging so why do this because after king e8 black has the chance to escape with king d7 black did not see this chance in the game after bishop takes d5 he fought like any human being why not just king e8 we can try go king d7 maybe we can escape with a perpetual however dubov saw a bit further queen h5 check king d7 remember in the previous variation the bishop is on f5 a huge vital difference between this variation between the game and the variation just shown queen h3 check king e8 queen h5 check king d7 no perpetual or else there would be no point in me going through this game bishop e6 check dubov continues the attacking possibility king c6 played which leads to a very long checkmate wow now in this position queen takes e6 is possible and after knight takes king takes we'll, we'll just stop it here there's a huge material imbalance white's coordination is better however this is not the point of this video even though here white has some chances maybe f5 check e4 the queen can go to h4 or to h6 king c6 was played in the game and this leads to a checkmate eventually the king wants to hide on b7 so let's put a stop to that with queen f3 check king has to come up to b5 now the king wants to hide maybe on a5 or a6 so let's put a stop to that well dubov has a brilliant move and perhaps black missed this sacrificing yet another piece bishop takes c4 check wow how does this work well king a5 was played in the game let's have a look at king takes c4 let's just draw the black king closer with queen c6 check king d3 is the best option to delay the mate now if king b3 then queen c2 is mate if king d3 then queen c3 is mate all squares covered now if bishop c5 to delay let's get the other white piece into the attack with rook c1 check king can either go to b3 or to d3 if king goes to b3 rook c3 is mate if king goes to d3 then let's do rook c3 again drawing the king to the second rank and the white queen can play a nice retreating move king goes to the second it doesn't matter queen g2 check and now king goes to the first and rook c1 is a beautiful finish king a5 played in the game queen d5 check bishop c5 you may be asking why not block with the c pawn we will look at this shortly blocking with the bishop means black now has a tempo to attack the queen on d5 now after this why not c5 looks like it makes more sense why put a bishop on 
the square being attacked. White continues the checking, b4 check, king a4, and let's just take time out to protect our a3 pawn with king b2. And here white has renewed the threats, a double threat, so difficult, if not impossible to stop. Queen c6 is mate, and the knight can come to e4 or to c3. Notice in this position, after king a4, queen c6 is not possible, because a3 was hanging. After b4 check, king b2, no way to stop it. If rook g5, queen c6 is mate. If you go queen e8 to stop queen c6, then the knight can come back to e4. If you go cb4, which looks like it stops knight c3, it does, but the queen on d5 is guarding all the squares on the fifth rank, so bishop can just come back, it can just tuck itself back to b3, it is checkmate. Bishop c5 played in the game. King a4 is the last option, but queen b5 is mate, or bishop b3 as well. Bishop c5 played in the game, and now b4 check king a4. Now another problem, the king is about to take on a3, the rook on d8 is useful, it is attacking the queen on d5, so what is white to do? White plays a brilliant retreating move beginning with queen g2. Wow, how can this work? Well first question is why not the logical queen c6 check, because a3 was hanging. And now the king possibly could take on b4, which is the big difference between this variation and the real game. Let's have a look at this stunning retreating move. What is the idea of this? Maybe queen c2 check, drawing the king further into the white position. Bishop takes b4 played in the game. Bishop f5 check, it doesn't really help. You can just put the king back to a2 and the threat is renewed. The queen can actually go back to c6 to give mate. If you try to stop it with, let's say, bishop d7, then queen c2. If you go queen e8, then... If there is no mate, then you could play bishop b3 and then maybe queen e2. Just trying to find a way to win a lot of things and bishop a4 picking up the queen, so this is possible. Now after queen g2, black tries to get out with bishop b4, but what is the problem? White now comes back to c6 check, wow. Why not do this before? Because white had the chance to play king takes b4 after king takes a3. This is the vital difference. King takes a3 played. Is black getting out? Can white get a checkmate somehow? Well, if white can play queen a4 mate, that would be a brilliant attempt. Well, first question is why not play queen g2 planning queen a2? Black now has an incredible defensive delay. Let's stop queen a2 mate. Let's just delay it and we can play bishop d2. Wow because bishop d2 vacates the b4 square, queen takes d2, queen b4 check, take, take, and black is just up too much material. That's why after king takes a3, Dubov now plays a brilliant move, and perhaps black missed it, beginning with bishop b3. What a stunning move. The bishop is hanging, and queen a4 is threatened, and yet after king takes b3, which is the game, you draw the black king into the position. In the game, bishop d7 was played because it stops it. Bishop f5 check, no point, because after e4, enough is being, enough pieces are protecting e4, and queen a4 is mate as well. You can take and then take, but nothing changes, really. Queen a4, queen c1. So after bishop d7, Dubov now finishes off in style. Queen a4 mate is not possible, so let's go the other way with queen c1 check. And here we see the problem. If only the king could go back to b4, but the bishop is in the way. This is the stunning difference. Queen c1 check, king takes b3, queen c2 check, king a3, and now mate in one, queen a2 check. This is the 2019 King Hunt Game of the Year. Check out one video here and check out another video over here. If you enjoy this video, why not like it? And subscribe to the channel at the same time. Plus, hit that bell to get notified each time I release a new video.